So what we're going to tie today is a hexagenia parachute. Uh, this fly can be used during the hex hatch. Um, it's a good fly to fish uh, before dark and after dark. But what we're starting out with is a size 6, 2x long um, nymph hook actually um, on a heavy wire, usually fishing for big trout. Uh, I'm going to use a 6 aught brown or camel colored thread and we'll get it going here. So we're going to wrap the thread all the way back to about the point of the hook shank just before the bend. Okay, now we're going to tie in the tail first. Uh, we're going to use about five or six strands of just standard pheasant tail fibers. I'm going to tie them in about the length of the hook, maybe a touch longer. One thing I like to do just make sure that my tails on the dry flies are somewhat splayed so all the fibers aren't clumped together. So I'm just going to give it a wrap or two underneath the material here at the bend. And this will help to splay it out as we add more material to the hook. Alright, next step, I'm going to tie in a little sliver of yellow 2 millimeter foam. We're going to use this to build the underbody. Just give it a little bit more flotation. And if you can see that, I angle it kind of a wedge shape, the long skinny taper. So we build body as we get closer to the front. And we're just gonna palmer it like you would chenille, building up that foam body. And as you watch, it'll get a little thicker as we go forward giving a nice natural taper. Okay, so we've cut a small clump of uh, just natural colored deer hair. I'm going to take it by the tips and fluff out the under fur. You can use a comb to do this as well. A uh, good idea to get the under fur out of the deer hair. Uh, that's water absorbing material. This coarser guard hair is hollow and this is what adds your buoyancy to your fly so we want to get rid of that under fur and then I'm a stacker so I like my tips somewhat even you can or you don't have to stack it but we're going to stack it real quick and then we're going to tie this in so the tips extend just a little bit past the foam into our tail Tied in at the front. I'm going to crisscross my wraps working back. And then go the opposite way coming forward. Okay, now we're going to tie in the wing. I'm just using a standard white deer belly hair. And if this is a fly you're going to use more so in daylight times, you can use a natural deer hair, tone it down. But most of our hex fishing is dusk to dark and beyond. So same thing when I get rid of the under hair. We want the height of the wing to extend at least to the back of the fly. We'll line that up. And I'm going to grab all these fibers and pull them straight up.
couple turns around the base of the wing to kind of bring it all together. Okay. So now we're going to tie in our hackle. We're going to use two colors. We're going to use a ginger and a grizzly hackle. So we're going to tie in both of them at the same time. This is an important step. We want to gauge these hackles so that we're not too big. We should have the tips of our hackles extending almost to the rear of the fly. So what I'll do a lot is just kind of put one up. That looks pretty good. So we'll pluck this one out. And then we'll match it up with one from our other saddle. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is just what I call a cover-up step. I'm going to cover up the gap and all the thread wraps and the ends of the materials with a little dubbing. I'm just using some yellow dubbing here. And this is a step you can leave out if you're tying for more for speed. As I come around, I like to kind of bounce my hackle through each turn, which helps to separate the fibers as I wind through itself. We'll give us about four or five turns here. Come in and Finish it off. Grab our handy dandy whip finish tool. Grab these hackle tips, trim those out. Now, as you can see, we got kind of a mess here in the post. What I'm going to do is grab the finished or uh, uncut portion. Pull that back. I'm going to bring my scissors in and cut the stems shorter, but flush. There we go. And the end result of this wing is you're going to get a very natural profile. Now we'll roll the fly over and we'll Clean it up, cut out any stray haggle.